All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. This is the start, or what you could call a start, of the uh, hopefully 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated 400 Mopar field series. And what I wanted to do today, which I have to, I'm admiring my block. This is the one that Ed did for me. Um, true decked. Uh, so what I wanted to do today was actually drop my main bearings in and test my compression height. So just take, basically I'll use three main bearings, uh, probably one, three, and five, lube them, set my crank in, and fit up my one piston and rod to see what my uh, deck clearance will be with that one piston. The biggest um, comment that I got about trying to make 500 horsepower is going to depend a lot on the compression ratio of this engine. So what we have it figured as, which is just is what it turned into with the pistons, uh, is about 10 to 1. So we'll know for sure today what that is. Um, we never actually checked it at Ed's shop because I didn't have main bearings. So I got my main bearings here. I'm going to slap them in. We'll see what it looks like. Got some nice ARP main bolts. And see if I can pop them out. There we go. All my caps are in order and stuff. You could do this at home, uh, basically with anything. You want, a lot of engines, before they're built, come, they are assembled and taken apart four or five times, maybe more. Uh, you, I mean, I don't know if you want to consider this to be assembled today or not, but it is getting tested. Test fit. There we go. Number five. My next step after this, and it won't be today, but soon, uh, I can go ahead and get the crank dropped in this. This block has been professionally cleaned. I've got a video on that. Uh, basically, I brought it straight home, bagged it super tight. Uh, what I would do typically is blow out any of my oil galleys, uh, bolt holes, that sort of stuff. The threads have been chased everywhere. I mean, it's ready to build, essentially. So what I'm going to do now is just go through and wipe these main saddles and get them super, super clean before I drop three bearings in. Microfiber here. It's clean. It's just been used before. Basically, the only stuff on here right now is WD-40. Keep this from flash rusting. And when I'm done today, I'll probably just recoat everything that I've wiped off. Just to be sure. There we go. Those look nice. Here are my bearings I'm currently using. Uh, the Clevite 876P MS series. And they are fully grooved all the way. All of them are. Went ahead and put in all my uppers. Gave them a light coating of engine oil. And here's my crank. If you missed it, there's an excellent polishing video out there on it. I went ahead and wiped the main journals again. It is a 400 uh, stock crank cast steel. Uh, that's what I'm using with this engine. So stock stroke, stock crank. It is original to this 400 block. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Oh, and steady. There it is. Here's a little spin. Good. Looks nice. Got my lubing brush here. 
I'm just gonna do one, three, and five. That'll be plenty for mock-up. Be sure and get these thrust surfaces. There we are. Got my bottom shells in. That be number one. And I'll put my notches together. Such as that. Start it up. Number three, notches together. And number five. I'm going to get these tightened down and come back and see you. Got her turned up on her side here just because I'm not using any rings. I got my 440 source rod on the KV piston with my chamfer to the outside edge. So all I'm doing here is just setting this in. I will catch her from the backside. See how smoothly the crank rolls. That's nice. And I'll come on through. I got my bearing in and lightly lubed. There we go. That's it. I'll lube that shell. Notches together. And start my bolts. In this situation, they don't have to be torqued. I'm just going to tighten them up till the gap's gone, basically. Pretty quick process. I would recommend it for, like I said, anything you're building at home. I wanted to do a quick check because I wanted to know what was up here. Rotate that piston up, 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 and up. Very nice. And here is our block with piston in it. See, she's 30 over. I can watch as I go. See if I can steady up here. Right there. So, not quite zero deck. That wasn't what we were going for. Just true decked. So every piston in the block will be the same amount. And the way I'm going to test that is just with a quick feeler gauge and a flat piece of metal. There we are. So I got my feeler gauges out. There's a 15,000. Got my straight edge. And I'll go right there to the center. Run that. See it's it's dragging right there. That's the center of the piston. If I can show you from this way. I'll try a little bit thicker. Right there. I 
I'm gonna call that 16 thousandths. So that's pretty good. So I will plug that in with my compression calculator and let y'all see what it comes up to. Thank y'all for watching and we'll keep pushing forward with this.